What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at how we can uninstall a Windows 10 update now if you've got Windows updates that have got corrupted or there's a bug with them then you may want to uninstall them and pause Windows updates until Microsoft have fixed those bugs for that particular update so I wanted to show you a couple of methods to uninstall updates so first off let's go to the recovery by typing recovery in the search box here and go to recovery options. Now this um, rollback, which we would call it, is go back to a previous version of Windows 10. This is to uninstall or roll back a Windows 10 update that may be corrupted or your system may have become unstable and you may want to roll back. Now you've only got a short period of time to roll back your system, so keep an eye on how long it's been since you've updated, okay? and uh, you can roll back using that method there. The next one is to actually remove and uninstall an update and uh, we're going to do this one right now. So go to the settings pane here and once you're inside here you want to go to update and security. Inside here you're going to see view update history and this is where you're going to see all the updates that have come down onto your system. Now, nowadays they've got little links here. You've got the recovery options right here. So if that is what you need to go to, you can get to it from here as well. This will take you back to that place we was just at. And you've also got the uninstall updates here. You can click on this and it will allow you to remove the updates uh, from your system. So let's go and click on this to here now. It takes us to this location here. And now you can see we can uh, click on the update that we want to remove that is causing the problem that may have an issue with it. Microsoft will release an article to tell you that there's a problem with this uh, update and you can then uninstall it and remove it from the system and then update it and roll it out when it's time uh, to do it when it's been fixed. Now most people don't keep an eye on what's going on in Microsoft, they just uh, uh, let the updates come down and install, but if you're having problems uh, like audio or internet issues and stuff like that, then you need to come into here and take a look at the latest updates that have been coming down. And You can see here when you click on them, it gives you a bunch of information of what this actual update does. It will give you a breakdown of what it's doing and what the actual update was for. And you can see here, it will also tell you any known issues in this update. So if you've got an idea of what's going on with your system, i.e. a blue screen or something like that, or you're getting an error message, you can come in here and check to see whether it is this update that is causing the problem. And it will sometimes give you a, a symptom and a workaround to fix and resolve that issue. Okay, now obviously if it isn't working for you, you can either roll back and uninstall it, it's entirely up to you which way you would uh, go about trying to fix and resolve that issue. Now if the command prompt is your thing, you can also uninstall and remove updates via the command prompt. I know some of you guys like to learn this stuff, so we'll go into uh, the command prompt by typing CMD and you need to run this as administrator. Once you've uh, got this open, you need to type in this command here and this will give you a list of all the, the updates on your system so we're just going to type this out I'll leave all these commands in the video description for you but as you can see here now we have a list of the updates that are available for us to remove if we wish to remove them so you can see here it gives you the date when they were downloaded and installed and you can also remove them so let me just quickly show you the command that you're going to need to do if you wish to remove them from the system via this method so let me just go ahead here and type this command out for you. So let me quickly speed this up, but this is the command you need to do here. And you need to put in the uh, number. Make sure you put the colon in there as well, and then the number of the file that you want to uninstall from your system. Now as you can see here, this is the one that I am uh, removing. Not this one, the one below it. There we go. That one is the one that we're going to remove from the system and uh, we're going to uninstall this. Now if I push this now it will give me the option to uninstall this actual file. Now there's a couple of extra commands that you can add on the end which is uh, quiet. If you want to do that you can add in the quiet command which won't prompt you, it will just do it in the background. And then also you can do warn restart and this will give you a warning of the restart and you can put a time in there 
say 30 or something like that and this will give just give give you enough time to uh, shut those down but I'm going to take those out and just run this and show you what it does so let me just push enter here and you can see it gives you the Windows Update standalone installer and it will allow you to uninstall this from the system now you would obviously uninstall this reboot your computer and if you want to reinstall it you can actually uh, go to the Windows Updates and reinstall it or you can reinstall it manually it's totally up to you I'm going to say no here because I want to leave this on the system and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can uninstall any troublesome update that maybe you have come down onto the system which is now plaguing your system and causing problems maybe with audio or maybe internet or crashing or stuff like that you can then remove that put pause on the updates until there's a fix for it normally Microsoft will pull that update for a while until they've resolved the issue anyway hope this one helps you out my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day enjoy the sunny weather bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos